Hey guys, good morning. It is hump day Wednesday, okay? Uh, Wednesday, March 27th. It is 7.14 a.m. As y'all see, I'm coming to y'all late. Oh, God, it's hot. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hey, ho. Hey, ho. Happy hump day Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you slept well. Whew. I need to get on this machine a bit. I'm hot. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, let me open this window a bit. Hold on, y'all. It's kind of cool, so the air should come in quickly. <clears throat> Okay. <coughs> I was in such a hurry yesterday to get out of here on time that I um knocked the curtains down in my room. So when I got through donating yesterday, I had to come home and put those back up. And I had to tell y'all, as always, I was able to get in and get out. Okay, when I went to donate, I was able to get in and get out. I was happy about that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I had to stop and re record only because. It was stuff that was in the other one that I shouldn't have in there. So, I had to stop and record. Good morning, good morning. It is hump day Wednesday, March 27. Y'all, it is 7.17 a.m. in the morning. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. I know why I say a.m. in the morning. Like, seriously. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you slept well, each and every one of you, right? Um, uh, yesterday I went to donate, right? Um, I was in such a hurry to get out of here that I knocked down my curtains. <laughs> so, obviously, um, when I got back, I had to get those back up, right? Um, let me see. I may need a little bit more light because I changed things around a little bit. Well, I didn't change things, I cleaned up a bit, and uh, I was using stuff. So I decided to put y'all right here. Um, I had a pretty rough morning. Well, no, I didn't. Let me stop. I just don't feel so hot. Now, I will say this, y'all. You know, I, I, I grab a couple of things from the dollar store, no problem. Syrup ain't one of them. Syrup is not good from the dollar store. My coffee. So far, there's two things that I've purchased from the dollar store that I did not like syrup and their jelly or jam I, uh, I didn't like it at least not the one I grabbed <sighs> guys I'm gonna try uh, quickly try to uh, get a little bit set up here um I woke up real early because of a dream I had and I, I did try to share it with you guys try to get down as much as I could I, I tried to talk about as much as I could uh, remember true enough you know it's not like it had been that long um, since I had woke up 
it was still let me see this this like it bright and remote and it is a bright light <sighs> listen listen to the words something something um but yeah so i tried to talk about as much as i could remember right but I went back to I, I laid back down because this was three in the morning I laid back down and again woke up twice um, I woke up at f well once actually um, the second time was the time to get up I woke up I laid back down and I woke up about four four thirty and I was like no mm -mm. I'm laying back down to at least five o'clock, y'all, because I at that point needed to. Um, so I laid back down, but I couldn't really go to sleep, sleep. Um, but when I did finally nod off and wake back up, at, and and it was because too at this point, Chapo Chapo was ready to get up because he knew that I had been up. He ready to eat. And I'm like, it's, it's, you know, is this, I'm thinking to myself, is this six already? It was not, was not. Um, Chapo was doing, you know, his normal routine that he does when he wants me to get up is what he was doing. And so I had to swat at him a couple of times and finally he just went on and sat down and waited. Right. So I laid back down. Um, again, at this point I couldn't like completely go to sleep, but I did rest. And then when I finally did fall asleep, um, some said check the time. It was, it was six o'clock. It was six o'clock because again, the alarm on my tablet was going off. Um, you just couldn't hear it because again, I forgot to turn it up. Um, so I got on up, got myself together and, um, Yeah, got on up, got myself together, and then I decided, you know what, go in there and, and cook the kids some breakfast. Um, so I did. Now, mind you, I didn't know that there was no more um, bacon. I didn't know she cooked all the bacon yesterday, but that's fine. Um, there were some sausages, so I cut up some of those. Um... So I made sausages, cheese, egg, and pancakes. Now she made eggs yesterday. She scrambled. Mine was light and fluffy, but they're learning. Cause the first time I made them, I scrambled. Um, my thing was, girl, where your cheese? Who child you belong to? You don't put no cheese on your eggs. What? What? <laughs> what? But, uh, yes, yeah, so I did that. And like I told him, I said, uh, taste that syrup first because I didn't like it. It's very disappointing, to be honest with you. Um, sometimes get going cheaper is not always better, obviously. Um, and it's nothing wrong with it. It just depends on where you go. Just put it that way. Um, so, yeah. That's that. I'm just trying to get this... <clears throat> here part out the way um sorry guys so yeah that that's what I did this morning and of course I you know moved as quickly as I can because um, I didn't want to be late I didn't want to be rushing uh, which is kind of what I'm doing now but it's okay change the color Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. Yeah, yesterday was pretty busy, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to um, get on the phones because <laughs> it's not something I wanted to do, as you guys are aware of. 
What? What is this? Passive Management Client. I don't need that. Just give y'all some light, man. Chapo goes out and he stares at the girls, he looks, smells the shoes, you know, do what cats do. But won't interact with them. So I picked him up this morning and took him in there. And, you know, uh, Rennie held out her hand for him to smell her. And he did. The minute I put him down, though, he just takes off like, mm-mm. I guess Chapo said, how many times I got to tell y'all I retired? <laughs> well, my thing is, dude, ain't no little babies here for you to be doing it. Like, I get he's a bit, you know, skeptical, especially with that old silly trick Lola played on him, scared him yesterday. I was like, can you want him to come to you? He, he ain't coming to you. Not behind that trick. I got the door open in case he decides, you know, he wants to venture out and go out and, you know, get close and hang out with them. I think that would be, he think he would have fun because they, they love him, you know, for sure. He just got to come out of that scary cat. Uh, what he go through? <laughs> he, whatever he went through it. Whatever key he was, he had to service. Obviously, made Chapo say no more. You know, Chapo's like, how many times do I have to say it? But anyway, I hope you guys are um, having a great day today. Um, it's a little chilly, but it is a beautiful day nonetheless. God. This right. Oh, correction, Godzilla and corn and corn. I hope it ain't corny. I really do. Hope it ain't corny. I hope it's good, but anything to me is good. Try to stay in compliance. It's constantly update this, do this, do that. And that's what I do, I think, once yesterday. Um, I had to go in and make sure I was complying with everything. And um, I did, but when I went in, it told me that I didn't have to do anything. But she said it was some. It was one thing I had to do that obviously had to be looked up. So. I went in and did that when she mentioned it to me. She showed me, she put up what to uh, type in and it came up, but I did it. So guys, when I get off work today, we're gonna have the girls, uh, we're gonna work on, work some more on um, the addition to my fireplace. We're gonna do some more working on the bricks, okay? Um, that's all we're working on right now is getting the bricks together. Because once I um, get the board up, the background up, the bricks have to go on that. So that's what we're gonna work on, getting those bricks up. Um, we're just getting them prepared um, today. And then I figure I'll make some salmon and maybe mac and cheese for them. I thought about rice but my daughter kids and rice man they like sugar and i only have enough sugar to, to for my coffee <laughs> we not using my coffee sugar so it'll probably be mac and cheese to go with there uh with the salmon and i hope it's enough maybe i'll do salmon and um fish sticks or something 
may not do that. So anyway, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead here and get set up. Well, I'm done setting up. I'm going to go ahead and log in at 730 and I'm going to get my tail to work. I will talk to y'all later. Be the Lord's will throughout the day. Y'all have to show y'all my nails didn't really, right? So yesterday when I was donating, the girl asked me, she said, uh, she, she said, where you get your nails? She said, your nails gold and black or silver and black? I said, both. <laughs> when I bought them, they were gold and black. But washing dishes and doing everything that I do, they are now gold, silver, and black. And she was like, oh my gosh. She said, it looks kind of cool. She was like, um, from a distance, it, it looks like um, that's how you, you know you did them. She says, where are you going to get them done at? Dollar store? Again, dollar store? I, I, I'm like so serious. I don't know why people keep a dollar store. <laughs> I'm not going. It's, I'm just, I'm not doing it. So guys, let me go. Um, because I need to pull up close so I can see uh, what I'm doing. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. I did go and get some for the first lady. I hope she likes these. I got a pack like mine where she can kind of pick which one she want to use. Right? And they're not too flashy. I don't think anything is super flashy, especially the darker colors. I think she'll like the darker red ones as well. And I got some glue for her too. So I'm going to give that to her when I go to church Sunday. And hopefully she will like it. Hopefully. Okay, guys. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Have an amazing morning. Say your prayers. Treat people the way God would. Right? And don't just say your prayers for your family, friends, and loved ones, but for all our brothers and sisters in Christ, right? Um, expect great things to happen to you, through you, and for you. I am, and I hope you do too. Y'all also pray for me. I always say that. Pray for me. Pray for me as I pray for you. Um, don't be giving me no bad prayers, no voodoo type stuff. I, I go through enough in life here and there. I don't need no extra. Guy, pray some nice prayers for me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, have an amazing day. Morning. Okay. Two more days to go. Have an amazing morning. Bye. Guys. So, I'm at the butt end of my lunch break. Um, and we're gonna fix myself some raviolis, a can of raviolis, and I put a couple of the sausage in there from this morning. Um, I was gonna do cheese, but I was like, let me not. <laughs> I got enough grease and mess in there. Thank you for this food, Lord. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. But. I feel bad. Really that the kids are here because there's nothing for them to do. I'm working. I can't do nothing with them, right? Right now, absolutely nothing. Oh my god, this sucks. Let me see. Since I'm on break. Would this be better? Mm -hmm. It's a little better. Yeah, it's just nothing to do, you know. And then when I go donate, it's I really can't do nothing if I wanted to. <laughs> um, so yesterday I came in and went right to bed, you know. Um, after uh, going to the dollar store, um, and then picking them up for my sister.
because my sister picked up my niece yesterday so I asked her to let them all come hang out with her if she felt like it while I donate and then I pick them up from her just to give them something different to do because they're just sitting in the house like they can't go outside really I told them they, if they want to go out on the back open up the back door and go out there um, I hear them in the front but to not be super loud because you may be someone else working from home let me go see now I have my doors open and not to go outside the yard every time I walk into the store I was like not out here y'all not I thought I heard y'all voices outside Oh, okay. I was like, I know I hear y'all voices. Y'all not going outside too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, just be careful. And again, don't go outside this yard. Okay. It's rainy voice, so she must be. Oh, she probably bored to death. Oh. I feel bad. Just think I'm working. There's nothing I can do. They was asking Jeremiah to take him to the park, and like I told him, I said, when he get off, Jeremiah in bed, every now and then he have something that he has to do. Um, my car ain't even ready. I would, hopefully if we got like a um, VTO take it, even though I can't afford to. Run into my mom to hang out. Oh, sucks. Definitely can't afford to keep spending a lot of money. Yeah, I'm eating a mess. I'm sorry because I'm trying to hurry. Do the extra money that I have. went with my sister to the grocery store they ended up like I told y'all getting the juice and then they wanted the shrimp and then chips I was like jeez <laughs> and that go like that you know but anyway guys that's just an update of um what's going on right now my break will be over in two minutes so I'm going to go ahead and log back in. Thank you for enjoying lunch with me. I did not offer y'all any dinner. Let me offer y'all some ravioli. With a little bit of sausage cut up in there. Whoop. There you go, y'all. There you go. So good. Chopper won't come out and play with him. I brought him out and he's just not having it. And like I told Lou, the fact that you scared him probably didn't make it no better. It probably made him revert back to his working days. <laughs> Chopo said, I'm done. Y'all keep y'all kids. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me get on back. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now. Hey, guys. It is... <clears throat> um, 9.56 p.m. March 27th, Wednesday night, and I'm sitting here on the floor. Excuse my room, I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Um, my pillow is on the curtain because the kids came in to try to play with Chapo, but mm -mm. he just wasn't having it. He was on the bed resting, but... So as they come in, he hits it. <laughs> He's just like, no. <laughs> and I, I, I will admit, two of my grandkids, my grandkids, they're a little hyper. Even the oldest ones, they can be a bit hyper. So I, at times, I can understand. Like Lola's just decided to scare him for no reason. <clears throat> when he did come out to, to to check them out, that's what she does. 
And she's like, I only did it once. I said, sometimes you can hurt somebody one time or give them that, uh, a certain impression you. And it's only one time, one, one time they need. Whether they know you're not. And that's what you did to him. So now she can't, he just takes off. But he's already funky anyway. <laughs> he already had an attitude anyway. But um, now it's just, he's not even. But I hope you guys had an amazing day today. My day was kind of busy. And it was very, very stressful toward the end of the day. So much to the point, it was hard to think and focus. Um, you know, and I just kept talking to Jesus and trying to stay in that space um, of trust. And just knowing that God will take care and provide and do. And he did. And I'm so grateful. Um, I'm sitting here now. <clears throat> with this ice thing. I had to take it up for a minute. Because it was just freezing cold. Um, but I wanted to just take a moment with you guys to meditate. Um, I have gloves on because I was about to paint my bricks. Some bricks for my fireplace. The kids are going to work on some and they got to the playing around and just didn't do it. So they're going to do some tomorrow because I will need quite a few. Um, so I'm going to do these because I pour the paint in the bowl and I'm going to go ahead and use it. But anyway, guys, just take a few minutes with me. I'm sitting on the floor. I got my legs crossed. Yes, I can still cross my legs. <clears throat> and we're just going to take a moment to meditate. Complete silence. Clear your mind of all thoughts, no matter what it is. And every time you feel yourself about to think something, in your mind, just say, Jesus, calm my mind. Okay? Let's go ahead and give it a few moments, okay? I don't know about you guys, but <coughs> that felt good. Oh, honestly, a couple of times I had that in my mind. I said, Jesus, call my mad. <clears throat> I started to, as I was sitting, my heart is beating. And I could feel the beat, and I could feel myself doing this. <laughs> uh, and so I was thinking, look, look at Chapo. Look, look. Them kids gone. <laughs> now, as soon as they was to come, to come through that door, he get right back on the bed. As soon as they come through that door, he's out of there. He's out of there. 
I just put a a pizza on for them. I cooked the salmon and macaroni and cheese today. They liked it. They actually enjoyed it. Tell me, it was finger looking good. I put a video on while I was making it. Um, oh, with some good ideas, the best way to make those particular um, salmon fillets, and uh, it was really good. I did a good job. Yeah. So. God is good. I was watching a little bit while I ate. My future wifey uh, with Lateris Whitfield. And he was interviewing Ashley. Mm, forgive me. Oh God, I'm so sorry I forget her name. It has Her name has a ring to it, Ashley something. And she has a... a, a uh, um, what you call it, pot herself. Oh, uh, she started to talk. <laughs> I'm sorry, my remote, the batteries are loose. Hello, everyone. Let's take a look. And then with me sitting down here, let's see if I can go to oh, because it's bothering me. Ashley. Oh, come on. I need to <coughs> do a quick treatment, too. Megan Ashley. And she was just talking about how seeking the Lord more changed her so much. You know, she talked about how, if you remember back in the day, grandparents would say, he picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. And she was like, pretty much that's what happened to her. He came in. You know, once she gave her, decided to give herself fully and completely to the Lord. Let him use her. Let him do. Let him inhabit all. Not some, but all. He began to change things and move things and, and make her life better. And make her better. She studied more. She seeked more. She said everything that we're going through, which is true. Any answers that we need is all in that word. It's all in that Bible. And we have to read it. And we have to read it with the mindset of serving God. What we can do for God. Not so much for what we can get out of it. Um, because that's just selfish right and if all we're looking for is what we can get what we can get what we can get what we can get out of it what we can accomplish what are we doing for God right what are we doing for God just like when we get married we looking about a lot of us are thinking about what we can get out of it what we what we how much he can make so I so I can do this so I can do that there is no I in team. And when you get married, you are a team. You become, the two become one, yes. But it's still two. It's, you know, still two. You become one in a sense that his is yours and yours is his. You're doing and walking and, and, and everything together as one. But we're all still on that what can I get Jamal forget your plate I think he still forgot it so yeah it was just you know (sighs) 
I'm not sad. God is good. I know God is going to continue to move. And I'm going to continue to walk right. Think right as much as I possibly can. I'm going to. But I was saying I put a piece on for these kids. Because they was in the kitchen. You know, all the food that's in there is stuff you have to actually unthaw. Take time and cook it. Whereas they were looking for something like they can just eat right away. Um, you know, there's like fish sticks and things like that, but they rather have pizza, which is fine. I had it in there. I can't eat it all myself. You know, I, I ate one myself for the most part. But y'all, yeah, so here's my bricks. Now, this paint I got from the dollar store, this is the same paint I got last time. I got it again because that was what I could afford at the time. That is what I can afford, period. Now look at it. It looks like glue, right? It's that, like, thin. However, what I decided was, uh, I'm just going to put that first coat on. And let it dry. I forgot to get another glove. But I'm going to put that first coat, coat, coat on and I'm going to let it dry. And then after it dries, I may indeed add another coat. Right now, I'm not so much worried about it. I just want that first coat on there because what will happen is once they're all done, and I'm going to put it here to dry, once they're all done, and I decide on what my next step is my bricks are done right and so once I put the bricks on the board wall <laughs> um, I'll know how much more white to add I don't know how much you know what to do next you know if I should you know add more white paint at this point should I do spray you know um, spray paint you know but for right now I wanted to get the main thing done which would be the bricks I had to get those done the kids were helping me um, last time the when they first got here and I had put some of the in the, that really thin paint I had some school glue that I pour over in there to kind of help thicken it up a little bit and uh, I didn't think when I told them if you know when you, to stack them up, meaning we had them, I had them lay them out, and I was like, if if we run out of room, just stack them up. And that's because I thought that they would dry quicker than what they did. <coughs> um, it didn't even dawn on me for some reason that they would stick together, and that's because of that glue. But not all of them did. It's fine. I was able to pull most of them apart. The ones that did. And I'm still going to use them. Because again, I am going to go over everything uh, with a coat. Another coat of paint. First thing is getting that first coat on there. And then getting everything uh, in place. And yeah, so the only thing I have to do now is get some... Uh, real right white paint or some better better quality paint or spray paint or and spray paint and open the door if you need to oh that's upstairs god y'all they, they could be walking upstairs and it sound like they down here in the hallway um yeah I know I thought somebody was in the hallway. Huh? Could you like put down the window or like air or something? It's really yeah. It's, uh, open the window? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, kitty. Say hey. Hmm. He looks like Fiona a little. He'll be nice. <laughs> yeah. Y'all see how he looking? Look. Oh, he gonna be nice. He look at him. He like, she better not go no fucker. He ain't gonna do nothing but jump down and get under the couch. <laughs> I mean, under the bed. 
Like, he ain't really watching. I'll be back, y'all. I'm going to let y'all spend time with Chapo right quick. <laughs> My knees. Oh, Chapo been here first. Oh my god. What happened to your visions? I just realized. I, I gave him away. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you said that you leave his mouth. Yeah, you know, he, he just, I don't know. He Sorry, y'all. Okay. 
Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I forgot the dang glove. <laughs> forgot about um that oven. When you turn that oven on, man, it gets unbearably um, hot in there because again, small space, right? And the kitchen is right next to the living room, so they was in there burning up. When I went in, there, all I all I felt was heat. <laughs> And they was like, how did it get so hot? I was like, the oven. They was like, oh. I was like, yeah, the oven. I totally forgot about it. So we opened up all the windows in the living room and in the kitchen. So this is going to take me a little bit longer now that I don't have my glove. But, oh, yeah, I'm sure, y'all. <coughs> So yeah, I'm just, as y'all can see, one coat, coat, and these are my bricks. I was watching Big Soup of Arizona, and he was talking about, this is like, this particular episode was like, maybe two months ago. <clears throat> He was interviewing a lot of young people that were living in their cars and trying to, you know, get to the bottom of why, what went on. And quite a few of them, you know, went through some things, experienced things, and uh, ended up on drugs. Some wasn't on drugs, just, you know, life. You know, and the economy being the way it is and can't afford this, can't afford that. You know, end up on the street. And uh, a lot of them thankfully do have, well, some of them, what the videos, the people that he were interviewing had their cars that they could sleep in. You know, <clears throat> a lot of people are doing a nomad life, you know, more than ever now. Some by choice, some involuntarily. Um, they just don't have a choice, you know. But I tell you, you can make anything work if you put your mind and heart to it. And if you trust God, let Him lead the way. Seriously. So, yeah. They're in there watching my... 600 pound life now this one I'm thinking I may have to cut it but we'll see it's kind of be <clears throat> but we shall see <clears throat> I felt that moment of meditation was helpful to some people Sometimes we just need to stop, even if for a few moments, you know. guys this is um, this is what I'm going to probably sit here and do while I watch a picture and um, give myself a quick breathing treatment um, I'm gonna sit here and do this until that piece of get done uh, so I can get my kitchen right cuz I told them, I said, that's it, because I'm tired of washing dishes. <sighs> I'm tired of washing dishes. I'm tired of getting up and cleaning up. <clears throat> you know, my kitchen, everything shuts down at a certain time. And the only reason I put the pieces in is because I didn't realize what time it was. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, I didn't even realize what time it was. I knew it was getting close. Uh, actually, I'm going to say I forgot what time it was. Because when I woke up, 
when I got up, I knew what time it was because um, Jeremiah was still here. I said, wait a minute, shouldn't he be gone? And it was so funny because as I was going to knock on the door, Lola was already on her way to his room to knock on the door and say, ain't Jeremiah supposed to be gone? <laughs> I was like, wow, y'all ain't been here but a few, but two days and y'all already know his schedule. <laughs> I was cracking up. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, so yeah, he was leaving. Um, he, he already left. <clears throat> but yeah, when I knocked on the door, I said, hey, are you, are you late? He was like, no. But it was so funny. She was standing there on her way to his room, too. <laughs> they had the funniest conversation. I was telling my daughter, um, you know, a lot of times he comes home, he's tired from work, cause he, you know, and he got to go again later in the evening, third shift. <clears throat> I checked with Lavelle today. He's been working good. God bless. And um, I told him, hurry up and get him a phone now. Because <laughs> I need, I really do need mine back. So <clears throat> his, he get his uh, check soon. So that'll be good. Um, what was I finna say? Yeah, so he was in there playing him. Picking with Jeremiah, you know how Lola do, and he gonna play and pick right back with him, tell jokes and all of that. And uh, <clears throat> they wanted to go to the park, and he told him he'll take them later. And I did, I didn't hear that part. I did hear him say that he would, he was going to go to the store later, um, so he he would, you know, take them to the store. And so they were so bored, they wanted something to do. And they ended up, they went out for a little bit, stayed in the yard, and they came back in, and Jeremiah was on the phone, and I guess they heard him on the phone, they like, oh, he on the phone, he up. And so they was at the door, especially Lola, she was so persistent, that ain't right, Jeremiah, <laughs> you woke, or something she was saying, and uh, they was just going back and forth, back and forth, they was in there in his room, and uh, trying to get him up, and he was like, uh, they wanted to go to the park. He was like, you know, <laughs> not out here. He was like, uh, and I told him that. I said, no, nah. I said, I don't think you're going to no park. I said, maybe he misspoke. Or maybe it was his intentions to maybe take you. I said, but I doubt it. I mean, there's no park, safe park that I'm aware of around here that he could take you guys. So I'm not sure. Maybe he thought, you know, maybe he had good intentions, but... I could tell you he wasn't going to the park. There's no park around here to take it. He, I think that he would feel, or even that I would feel safe to take them to. But we had to get in the car and, and really drive, like to the park where I used to take them. <coughs> my kids on Lake. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't doing that because right after he uh, took them to the store, he went and got right back in the bed and went to sleep. And so, yeah, they just kept on, kept on, kept on. And uh in there joking and clowning around. He got right he so he got on up and uh he took him to the store. And when they came back, I was telling my daughter it was so quiet in there, I had to go in there and check on him. Cause I was telling Jeremiah earlier this morning, I said I had to tell him, I said, Y'all don't have to be that quiet. I know I told y'all I'm working, but I also told y'all right now I'm off phones. So, which is the reason why I have my door cracked most of the time. If you need something, come in here and let me know. You know? Um, but Lola was scared to come in here because she didn't want to disturb me. So she told Jeremiah. So he came and got the bag. I said, she could have came and get the bag. So um, I put my phone on hold and went and let him know, you know, if you need something, come in there. I said, now, if, if um, they, for some reason, get really busy, not for some reason, but if they get really busy and tell me, you know, they need me on the phone, and you come to the door and you hear me talking, then by all means, if you need something that's in here of yours, come get it. That's fine, you know. I'll see you and nod or whatever I said, but to have a full blown conversation with you, I probably won't be doing that if I'm on the phone talking to somebody. I mean, you can use your common sense there about what to do. Um, so, but yeah, I didn't have to be, and it wasn't, I guess, busy enough to have to for me to have to get off the phone. Um, it was busy enough for me to stay on the 
to stay on off the phones. And I did let my supervisor know too early, um, Tuesday um, that I had the kids here just in case. So, yeah. Um, oh, uh, uh, well, God has blessed me multiple times today. He has in many ways. And as time go on, I will talk to you guys about those situations and things that I've had to deal with and why. Um, because it has happened and does happen to everybody. Um, at some point, not everybody. Some people are fortunate. Um, but anyway, uh, and I won't even say fortunate. I just say their decision making may be better. Um, but anyway, uh, my mechanic, our mechanic, mechanic called. I missed his call. And uh, I tried to call him back, he didn't answer, and so then I went ahead and checked with my sister to see if he called her, and as I was talking to her, I guess he was calling me, and so I missed him again, <laughs> but I finally got him and he was telling me, yeah, you know, my car was ready. Uh, he said, still something going on on that driver's side, he hears when he was dri riding in it. Um, and that's just that's just something else that we're gonna have to deal with later. Right now, was to just try to get it back mobile. And he was telling me he drove it uh, with the donut on it, and he drove it without the donut. And he he put air in the car and every in the tire and everything. And he said it was fine. He said he put the regular tire and everything back on. He said you said it was a crack in the rim. I said yeah, that's what they told me. He said you know I don't see no crack. Um, he said it was fine. I said, well, I said, in all honesty, I did go out there and the car, the tire was flat. It was low. It was low. It wasn't flat, flat. It was low. It was getting there. Now, the back tire was flat, which is why I had the whole tire changed and the uh, bolts because the bolts were um, stripped. Now, they told me that the tire was good which I knew it was good because like I told y'all in the video I had just purchased that tire when the dudes did my muffler so they were like and these are different people so they don't know um, but he said yeah your your tire is fine he said but as I told y'all in the video uh, your rim is cracked so what he decided to do then was he said, "Well, let's do this." He said, "I'm gonna." It's the, he said, "I'm gonna keep the leave it." He said, "I'm gonna leave it like it is." Overnight, and he said, "I'm gonna go drive by and check." I'm gonna go over there and get out and check and see if that tire went down, if it went flat, if it went low. If it did. He said, I'll put the donut back on it. Because he had took the donut back off. Because it was fine. Uh, he said, if it went low, he said, we'll take that donut. I'll take that donut off. And put the, I mean, I'll put the donut back on the tire f on there for you. Um, that way you can um, still drive around to get to where you got to go to get your rim. And he didn't want to drive too much because my fuel light came on. So obviously when I get in it, I have to go straight to the gas station. I'm trying to think. Yes, one on Chicago Avenue and Cicero. So yeah, I can just go right there and get me some gas. I'll go through the alley and go to the gas station and put some gas in the car. And then, right there on the same corner. Well, not on the same corner, but when I come back from the gas gas station, two minutes from the gas station is where I would go to get uh, the real. So hopefully everything will work out. I'm trusting God that everything will work out. And, uh, 
just one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm hoping nothing else happens. <laughs> you know, I know I still gotta, now I gotta work on, you know, paying my sister back from, you know, previous, as well as other people. Um, and then work on getting that fuel pump done. And then find out what's going on on that driver's side. Because, like I said, it's probably, sorry, the control arm. So if I get in there, I have to get in that uh, tire put on there. I have to put in gas in there. And get in the tire put on uh, the rim. If it's needed. And that car sounds really, really bad. Then I'm going to have to go ahead and work on getting that, uh, whatever's going on up under there done right away so this don't happen again <laughs> you know but he said once we get it to the shop he can get on up under that he can see what's going on on that side and it was another part I needed him to get he got the part but it, it, it was the wrong one so he was telling me what he can do um, so I told him, yep, <laughs> by all means, whatever you can do, by all means do it, by all means do it. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So I'm hot and tired. I just want to. Lay down. Put my water in the freezer so it can get cold. Okay. You know, I probably could have did line these up a lot better than I did. And I like this. The good thing about this paint is when I wash my hands it'll come off definitely want to get as many as I can done because I want to use this paint because I poured in this bowl for these kids to paint and uh, I don't want to waste the paint because it'll definitely you know dry out or whatever so I'm trying to paint it in the, with the strokes, you know, the right strokes, like as if it were really bricks. Watch, I think I told y'all my 600 pound life or something like that. And uh, the guy was sitting in the shower bathing himself. He's a pretty big dude. And he was like, he didn't even wash all up under everything. And then I said, well, he's also on camera. So he's just giving you an idea what he has to, what he's doing and so on and so forth. I'm pretty sure this man ain't finna be on camera all in his stuff. Like, why? Why would you even want to see that? Like, I'm pretty sure you have an idea of what to do if that were you. You know? And we don't laugh and giggle at people. And they was like, no, no, we wasn't laughing about that. They were. Let me ask y'all when y'all were younger. Now, there were times I would be glued to the phone too, but one of these kids, both of them actually, 
I think I mentioned it earlier, but when they went to the store, I'm thinking somebody still no, I'm thinking um the T V was on. So I go in to turn the T V off. The T V ain't on. The child got her cell phone in there on the couch on the charger and whoever she's talking to is still on the phone and she gone to the store. I'm like, what? She said, oh, I forgot. I said, are you kidding me? Why the hell did they just not hang up? And when, and the only reason why I brought it up to her, because I forgot about it. Only reason why I had brought it up to her was because I'm in there talking to her when I got off work. I forget what we was talking about. And I'm hearing this voice. And somebody like, what is that? Again, the phone is is behind the couch charging up. And whoever she's talking to is still on the phone. What the hell is wrong with y'all? She's like, she's in the car. I said, so hang up till she get to wherever she going and call back. What's wrong with y'all? I was like, y'all got to be kidding me. And the one that left the phone when they went to the store, I thought it was the other one. But she said, no, that was me. I forgot. I had told the person I was talk talking to to hold on and I'd be back. To hold on. And she said, I forgot and left. I was like, Lord Jesus. And they still stayed on the phone. I would have hung up so long ago. They wanted to stay long. But long enough for me to have, if I were on the phone with you, and you told me to hold on, I would have hung up. Like, I don't know, am I, <laughs> am I missing something? Like, wow, that's just craziness to me. Sorry, I was sitting down here on this floor, and to be honest with you, my back is starting to hurt. So, definitely going to call it a... And I'm finna go in and check on this pizza because I turned it up a little bit. I had it on real low so that it, you know, don't burn because I know they probably may not pay attention to it. But since it's so hot, I went on and turned it up a little bit and I told them, I'm turning it up, pay attention to it. Try to get all this paint. I think whatever I don't. Let me go check this piece of chicken. I'm starting to smell it. And usually, if you can smell it, smell it. It's probably done. So, on my way. In the living room, I might just use this paint to go across the bricks that's already there. I just so I don't, just don't want to waste the paint. I'll use as much of it as I possibly can. It's crazy too, cause she got the phone up loud, because I'm in here and I can hear. Hear her, hear whoever she's on the phone with talking. What? It's done, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can smell it. Tell her to, um, I'm coming. Huh? I'm coming, I'll get it. Okay. Just turn the oven off. I'm coming. Yeah, I figured, ah, dang it. Figured it would be done. Okay. Let me put that there. And I shall return.